Rachel Claren, and we are walking on the Tampa Bay Three Day for the Cure for Susan G. Komen. So it's a 60 mile walk, it takes place over three days, and it starts in, where is it, Santee? And yes. it ends in St. Pete, and it should be lots of fun. Um, we got involved with this in February when we found out that two Academy parents, Carolyn Silence and Renee Kip, were walking. Uh, so I kind of decided that I wanted to do it and to raise the $2,300 to fight breast cancer. And I sent out a mass email, which I saw, and then said, for some reason, wow, that looks like a lot of fun, looks like a great cause. So I decided to do it as well, and I am also raising the $2,300 and walking 60 miles. And we're really excited because this weekend coming up, we have our biggest training walk with 40 miles. 40 miles on Saturday, 20 miles on Sunday. So wish us luck. Yay! Good morning, it's October 17th, 2010, and Rachel and I are about to embark on our last big training walk. We have 20 miles today. We did 21 miles yesterday, um, so this is our last big weekend. Next weekend we only have 18, maybe 20, and then the big event is in two weeks. We're very excited, very excited, so wish us luck. Yay, training! Hi, it's Rachel and Amy, day two, mile 33 of our biggest training walk ever. We are getting ready to hit the road again. We've got about eight and a half more miles. Joy! And Amy is going to talk to you now about foot care. So we've got a bunch of products that we use for our feet so that we don't end up getting blisters. One of them is called Body Glide, and it's like a deodorant stick of Vaseline that kind of goes all over your feet. And that way it keeps your feet from getting the hot spots, and then that prevents blisters. We also use something called Moleskin, which is like a sticker. It has a peely thing on the back and then a nice soft side. And you put the soft side um, and that gets your sock and the sticker goes on your foot. And you can put that anywhere. I use it all over my feet, actually. Um, you can cut it. It comes in about a square this big. And you can cut it any shape you want. So that's great for running, for walking, for any kind of sports. And of course, we always use the traditional Band-Aid. Um, and I'll probably be using this on the last eight and a half miles in addition to what I've got on my feet right now. But I'll check in with you when we're on mile 41 because there might be some uh, really ridiculous singing going on. I love the mountains. I love the rolling hills. I love the flowers. I like the daffodils. I like the fireside when the lights are low. Boom de yada boom de yada boom de yada boom. Boom de yada boom de yada boom de yada boom. Wonderful lifetime moments, rites of passage that shape our lives, milestones that represent a life's journey, a baby's first step, a wedding kiss, blowing out the candles on a birthday cake, or loved ones reunited. Moments we all deserve to look forward to. But when breast cancer invades, lives are so rudely interrupted, stealing these precious moments away. We are here now, so that in years to come, we will reminisce at reunions with those we love, and not about our memories of them. We come together to bring all possible joy to every birthday, and to give each graduate the gift of standing with both parents. Today, we are here because you have answered the call to do something extraordinary. And that's the remarkable thing about this lifetime moment. It's a celebration measured in miles of a shared conviction that everyone deserves a lifetime. Good morning, Tampa Bay! I'm Janae Fromm. I'm the national spokesperson for the Susan G. Komen Three Day for the Cure, and I am so honored to be the host of your opening ceremony. You are about to embark on a journey that may just push you outside your comfort zone. <laughs> Smile, Casey! <laughs> Here we are at mile one, day one. Yay!
9 p.m. on October 29th, 2010, and Rachel and I have just completed day one a couple hours ago. We had dinner and had showers in a truck, which was a new experience, and we set up our tent, which we are now we are now in, and it's kind of snuggly and cozy, and we just wanted to let you know that today was pretty successful. Uh, we're a little sore because it was very grueling. The, uh, the all the different walking surfaces that we walked on we weren't used to. We saw we had everything from wooden bridges to metal bridges to causeways and hills and we had cobblestone and we had cement and we had tar and we had gravel and we had dirt and we had grass and we had brick. So our feet kind of took a pounding today. So we're hoping that tomorrow is kind of more roads and a little bit easier. But we had beautiful views over um, Clearwater Beach and through the Botanical Gardens. So overall, it was a really awesome experience to see this part of Tampa Bay, which we had never seen before. So on that note, I look forward to seeing you tomorrow, and thanks for watching. Hi, it's Rachel. I'm just going to clarify everything that Amy just told you, because Amy's a very happy person. <laughs> right now, <laughs> we are in our pink tent. It's about, I'd say, an 8 by 8 tent. If if you stretch it, it's not really 8x8 eight eight since it's not a perfect square. Welcome to outside! <laughs> Come back. <laughs> anyway, when she says that we're snuggly, it means that my feet are currently residing outside the tent because I'm too long. It's true. And, <laughs> and then I'm pretty sure our neighbors can hear everything we say because we're about 8 inches away from all of them. Right through there. <laughs> Hello, neighbors. <laughs> anyway, uh, she was not lying about the grueling. My feet definitely took a pounding. And let's see. We are excited for day two tomorrow. They won't let us start until 7.40. Hi, neighbor. Hi, neighbors. <laughs> we're, we're making our video. <laughs> Can you tell? <laughs> Take five. <laughs> Sorry, we couldn't resist. <laughs> And let's see, um, I'm excited about the numerous trips I'm going to make to the porta potties this evening. Hey, at least we have porta potties. This is true. Very However, grateful for the porta potties. I would be more excited if they were like mm, less than 50 feet away. Yes. Which they are currently not. They are, are most definitely a quarter mile away. Although I think everything is a quarter mile. Dinner was a quarter mile. Showers the tents were, were a quarter mile. mile. The showers were a quarter mile there and then another quarter mile back. I swear we have at least logged 25 miles today. <laughs> it only gets worse tomorrow. But we should feel very grateful for our little snuggly tent tomorrow as we will be completely and utterly exhausted, but in a happy way. And on that positive note, I'll say good night. Joking. <laughs> just kidding, just kidding. So here we are on day two, about to enter lunch. But before we get to lunch, which is over there, we have to climb that. Any words, Rachel? No, there are no words. <laughs> it's just cruel. That is the meanest, j meanest joke. To get to there, we climb that. Okay, the end. Cool view. 
Here we are at mile 34 on day two, and we are walking next to the Treasure Island Beach, as you can see over there. It's very nice. The ocean's behind those palm trees. And we are heading to our next pit stop, and then we have four more miles for day two. Man, they're really trying to challenge us today, huh? You didn't realize mountain climbing is part of this. We are now going to rock climb up the drawbridge, swim across, and then rock climb up the other side too, right? Yep, that's the plan. the remembrance tents where people can leave legacies behind of memories of their loved ones that they have lost to breast cancer and at night they light them up and they're very beautiful I'm gonna take you down to Boston so we can see some of my hometowns The larger tent is a place where people can leave pictures and videos behind and look at films of some of the people that have been lost and were previously on the track. So it's a beautiful way to remember people. And all these people are walking to make a difference. So that there won't be as many deaths in the future. It is day two, uh, about nine o'clock. It's starting to get quiet. We just had a dance party over at the uh, the big tent where we eat our meals, and finally that has ended. So we could make our little movie and then hit the sack. 
Um, just wanted to talk to you about how we made it for today. We did make it in the tail end of the caboose, which is, we found out today, what they call the very end of the walkers. Um, so we were in the caboose, which means that we were some of the last people to actually finish. Um, but uh, we were really excited to, to be able to walk across uh, mile 40 and to get into camp, and then we had dinner, and it was nice. Um, we did ice our feet down, which was really cool. We've never been able to do that before, and that helps immensely. Um, I'm really grateful that we were able to finish. There were so many people that didn't finish, and um, there were some people that were medically disqualified um, starting in the morning with blisters and shin splints, and we found out what road rash is. Road rash is when uh, you have, I guess, different, is it pulmonary vessels? Not pulmonary vessels. Like your capillaries capillary burst vessels because in your of legs. the heat. And the back of their legs are bright red from all where all the the vessels have They have, have poison burst. ivy almost. It does look like poison ivy. It looks awful, and people had hives. Um, and we saw one woman who, I mean, some of the adversity that we see and that people just overcome and they just keep walking. Um, one woman has been pushing another person in a wheelchair the entire route. We've seen her every, at every rest stop and it's incredible. And um, the crew is really helpful and supportive and even though we were walking very slowly at the back of the pack, um, they, you know, they're like, come on, you can do it, one more mile, you can do it. And that last mile seemed pretty long. But um, but we, we made it, and, uh, and so I'm really grateful that we were able to do that today, and I'm really thankful to be here, and uh, my legs are feeling really good after that shower, especially. Um, you want to add anything? I'm super excited that I'm lying down right now. It feels amazing. <laughs> Rachel took some, uh, some uh, I don't know, what is it? pain for the team or something. <laughs> <laughs> Basically, my feet are disgusting. I have horrific blisters that are so gross it's right bad. now. It's bad. <laughs> I don't, you've never had blisters that bad, ever. I don't think I've ever even had blisters on those toes. No, you've never had blisters that bad. That's a little scary going into the last 15 miles of day three tomorrow. It should but, be fun. Um, <laughs> hopefully they won't lance them. Hopefully they'll just like put band-aids on them and get you all taped up for tomorrow. Tomorrow is... Um, day three. We're really, I'm really excited about it. And now we present to you our favorite moments of day two. <laughs> Forever. Forever. Well, let's see. That can only be one islander. I'm Lisa Holland from Bradenton, Florida, and my best friend Melanie is a three-year survivor, and I cruised for her this year. And I am Melanie, and last year I walked it, and this year I am crewing to support all the walkers and to put an end to this horrible disease. My name is Debbie, I'm from Fort Lauderdale, and I've done this walk nine times. Thank you, Debbie! Good morning. It's night two, or day three, I'm not really sure, because it's about 3.30 in the morning. We awoke to screaming and hurried whispers and the sound of <laughs> which turned out to be the uh, sprinklers turning on for the entire field of pink tents. And a lot of women got pretty soaked. So we've pulled all our stuff inside our tent. I currently have my feet propped up on about three feet of luggage. <laughs> and uh, we've, we've closed all the hatches and we're, we're just waiting because the sprinklers are on a timing system to see what happens when they get to our row. Hopefully our tent holds. If not, we'll be making a mad crawl for the uh, truck because that seems to be the only dry spot left. I'm going back to sleep. <laughs> Morning. <laughs> Good morning, it's day three and we have just packed up our tent. As you can see, there is now no space where our tent was. And Rachel's packing some gear. The sun's coming up. Camp looks pretty awesome. And we are heading out on the road about a half an hour. All right, your route is open.
had lunch and we're hitting the road. We got five points left. What do you have to say about it? <laughs> Yay! Sammy and Rachel, we have point nine until we are done with the three day. Wow. Do you ever so think we excited. would get here? So excited. I don't think so, actually. I don't ever. I didn't really think we'd get here. three day event, I've been like, it's not going to happen. There's no way. <laughs> and here we are in St. Pete Beach. And I'm going to show you the pier. Here it is. You know, rings all the way back to the beginning. We'll check in at the Victory Tunnel. The littlest worm. The littlest worm. I ever saw. I ever saw. Got stuck inside. Got stuck inside. My soda straw. My soda straw. The littlest worm. I ever saw. I ever saw. Got stuck inside. My soda straw. He said to me. He said to me. Don't take a sip. Don't take a sip. Or if you do. Or if you do. I'll surely slip. I'll surely slip. The littlest worm. I ever saw. I ever saw. Got stuck inside. My soda straw. I took a sip. I took a sip. And he went down. And he went down. All through my pipe. All through my pipe. He must have drowned. He must have drowned. The littlest worm I ever saw. I ever saw. I got stuck inside my soda straw. The end. <laughs> <laughs>